I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wrenches in my top drawer. Hey, what's up, guys? This is MJ, and today we got to talk about this article I saw about Infinity. It looks like Infinity is in trouble. Uh-oh. Infinity dealers are desperate to get actual good cars. Uh-oh. A dated lineup makes it hard to sell units without massive discounts. Wow. You want to save some money and go get a new infinity maybe <laughs> compared to 2022 infinity actually had a pretty good year last year at least in terms of sales a year over year increase of nearly 40 percent sounds incredible until you realize it only sold about 65,000 vehicles for comparison Acura moved more than 145,000 units in 2023. Apparently, a dated, uncompetitive lineup will do that to you. And as Automotive News reports, dealers are desperate for Infinity to actually give them some good cars to sell. This Infinity National Dealer Advisory Board chairman says, Product is king. Infinity doesn't have the right products right now to compete in the marketplace. He also added, the model portfolio is long in the tooth. It will be tough unless Infinity decides to increase marketing and incentive spending. These dealerships were built on promises made to us of 150,000 units. Oh boy. I think this kind of points out the fact that having a good CEO for your automotive company is critical. I mean, what is the CEO doing about this? Why aren't there more innovative products and new cars coming out? You can't just keep selling the same old cars over and over again without updating them. I mean, really, to to fix Infinity, Nissan has to be really good. I mean, because they're basically just rebadged Nissans, you know, which is which is not a bad thing. You know, having a luxury version of a Nissan, if Nissan is good, is good too. But let's see, what does this guy say? How much R&D went into that ridiculous, pointless VCT engine? Anybody want to touch one of those without a warranty? That could have gone towards making one halfway desirable vehicle. <laughs> yeah, so I think he's talking about that um, that variable compression engine. And uh, they were having a lot of problems with those. A lot of people think that uh, the gain that you get from those in miles per gallon really wasn't worth it when you add the extra complexity. And I do agree with that. Lots of ways to get better gas mileage other than having a variable compression ratio engine. So this guy says the next maximal will be an EV. It's due for model year 2025 and will ride on the same platform as the Aria. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Yeah, a lot of people are not liking electric cars right now. So I don't know if that's going to help, sir. No, yeah, the competition is fierce. And, uh, you know, I know mechanics, they get mad when, <laughs> when they keep updating things and changing things. But this just shows you if you don't stay updated, if you don't keep new technology out, you know, your ideas will get stale and your cars won't sell. You know, nobody wants to drive the same thing around all the time. Well, I mean, I do, but you know, that's only because I know that they get more reliable. They work out all the bugs. Let's look at the competition. I think the competition is Lexus and Acura for Infinity. So let's look at that. So here we go. I got to admit that I am partial. I think that Lexus is the best Japanese uh, luxury car. So let's look at them. The cream of the crop. Nobody does it better. Thank you, macho man. <laughs> All right, so we got this RZ all electric. Oh, this is the 2024 TX plug in hybrid. Oh, I like this new grill. I like the way they got the grills now. No more, um, no more spindle grill. All right, so this is uh, only $78,000. Just uh, sell a couple, couple stocks, you'll be able to have one of those. <laughs> DD. This is a plug-in hybrid. I just want to see some pictures. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah, see, finally. I like when they integrate this uh, the tablet into the dashboard. I don't like when it's just sticking out, out of, in the middle of the air. So that looks good. Some big cup holders, yep. DD looks, looks all right. I like it. All right, so here's my favorite Lexus. This is the LC, and it is 
So beautiful. I think I'm, I might. If things go well, I might try to get one one day. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm telling you, if you see this car in person, it is stunning. The only thing I don't like about it that much is the interior. I think they should make the interior look way better. But the outside of it is amazing. Yeah, like, see, it's, why is it all one color like this? And the um, only thing I really don't like about the interior, and I know this is going to sound stupid, but is uh, these little things right here that stick out the side of the <laughs> of the instrument cluster they look like the like just they're just out of place like why do i need that they look like the bolts on frankenstein's neck like you know you got those bolts that come out the side <laughs> that's what it looks like to me but yeah you know i think i could i could handle it in black it looks all right in black but it's it's too dark like why don't you make these things here a different color you know like I think Lexus interiors are good, but they're not great. You know, like Mercedes interiors are great, but Lexus is good. This is good enough. I would still buy it. So, oh, here we go. Here we go. Finally, this one, this one looks good. I like this one. A couple different colors is much better. But yeah, I hate the all one color, all one color, all one color. All right. Two colors is better. All right. So if I get it, I got to get this one. <laughs> But I probably won't get it because I'm too cheap. All right, yeah, but that's beautiful. That's your competition, Infinity. Do you have anything that's even close to this? No, you don't. What they need to do, what they need to do is make a luxury version of the Nissan GTR. Yeah, yeah. What about that? That'll be baller status. They and they would. I wouldn't even change the way it performs or handles. Just make it look like amazing just make it look as beautiful as you could possibly make it look and then i think you could have some steam even though those cars don't sell that much but they kind of bring attention to your brand which is good they bring people in the dealership and then if you could have a couple good i think they could probably should probably focus on the, their crossovers their suvs and then and they can have something but yeah like i said you got to you got to fix Nissan first before you fix Infinity. They work hand in hand. All right, so what do you guys think? Would you buy an Infinity or would you buy a Lexus or an Acura instead? Does anybody like Infinities anymore? I mean, remember the G35 and the G37 were really popular, but since then they have kind of, I don't know, they just seem kind of boring. Like you got to have a reason to go buy a car, you know? You're not just going to buy it because it's there. You got to really want something out of it. And I don't know. There's nothing too much to really want that's better than the competition or even equal to it. So let's hope Infinity gets it together and gives their dealer something to sell so that they won't go out of business. <laughs> All right. Thank you for tuning in and have a good one.